What up, world? Y'all already know what time it is. It's your boy Jeff, aka Cool Boy Jeff, right here. It's the only place you could find a wave. It's the Wave 804 back again with another video. And today we're going to sit here and discuss uh, the guy, Aaron, man. Uh, he was on a TV show. Uh, it was a YouTube show. Anywho, it's a pop, uh, pop the balloon. I guess you find it's like a matchmaking. You get to ask questions, they get to ask questions and stuff like that. But the reason why we're here today, um, I had posted the first video, um, you know what I'm saying, without the reaction and stuff like that, you know, with the video and the three points and the conclusion. But I really want to sit here and take the time to watch the video with you guys because this is my first time watching it. And um, after hearing his story and seeing what he posted on his page, saying that... Uh, you know, he lost his job, you know what I'm saying? They called his job 500 times and stuff like that regarding to the TV show and got him fired and lost his job and which was taken away from him. And he said he makes a whole lot of money, you know. And I've seen clips, you know what I'm saying, saying, you know, he owns his business, he got 100000 in the bank and stuff like that. He's making multiple videos. But I want to sit here and watch the full video of his part and this is a show where you know again matchmaking and stuff but as far as my opinion you know i gotta watch you first before i can give it but i can already tell it's gonna be a lot so y'all go ahead make sure y'all like comment subscribe hit that bell stay updated with all videos that drop on this channel so you won't miss a thing and you'll be the first one to get it but like always let's go ahead and get to it do uh, i'm a licensed plumber oh very cool yeah and now uh, what do you look for in a woman um, I look like I look for a woman that's not promiscuous and um, has a <clears throat> career going for herself. Okay. Yes, ma'am. And now, what are some of your deal breakers? Uh, deal breaker: being promiscuous, not cleanly, um, don't have a career, or nothing really going for yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So we did get a pop balloon. Okay. Let's go ahead and go on over there and see what's going on. Yes. All right, if we can have your name and age and why you popped your balloon. Hi, my name is Karma, I'm 24. Oh, oh sorry, it was Karma. Like popping the balloon properly. <laughs> yeah, um, for me, it just did not work. I didn't feel like I had chemistry or I wasn't fully attracted to you. And I feel like that counts if we were going to be going through a dating show. Yeah. Yes, the feeling is definitely mutual. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so cute. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I wasn't expecting that. I'm, I'm, I wasn't expecting that. That man said, yo, the feeling is definitely mutual. <laughs> it's definitely mutual. Like, I see why they say that this man here, <laughs> this man here, he wasn't here to find love. He was here to, you know what I'm saying, just pop, 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 you know what I'm saying, let him have it, you know what I'm saying, but judging my shorty's face right here as you can see with the red on like she can't even believe it like what he just said like oh my god like why would he say that but you gotta think about it like what was said to him you know what i'm saying and some people is not gonna come back with a, a soft rebuttal some people is gonna be just like that like you gotta take that for who they are and the people don't never think like you gotta be prepared with what a person gonna say or do to you if you do the same thing to them you understand but we live in a generation that is, you know what I'm saying, you can slap somebody or put your hands on somebody and don't expect them to do the same thing to you. You know what I'm saying? But this was a, definitely hilarious. That man said, I, you know, I feel that it's definitely mutual. Like, this is really hilarious, man. But, uh, yeah, man, this is just crazy. This is hilarious. You did me a favor. You know, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for watching YouTube. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and... All right, we got Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> you have your name and age and why you have Bro, what? Hi, my name's Dara. I'm 22. Okay. Why? Because I was like that. Um, the comment you made uh, didn't really. I'd like a more humble person. That's the one that responds to so defensive-ish. Yeah, that's really it. Yo, look at his eyebrows, yo. His eyebrows and eyes, and she knows coming. Like he about to say some outlandish, bro. Like, why was y'all starting with this man? And her name is Karma, so you know exactly that's what she's really about to get right there, right, right then and there, man. I'm sorry to keep pausing, man, but yo, it's just crazy. Like she can tell that he is about to say something crazy. Like, look at his eyes, man. 
look at his eyes, man. Like this dude, this dude's big with shoulders and short with the Zeno neck. Like, hey, hey, bro, I'm just this is part of content, but hell, you know, so we all need to laugh at this. But yeah, let's go and get back into it. Yeah. I, I didn't really necessarily like that's fine hey i could just yeah. all i can do is be honest you I mean, know yeah, be honest I be authentic self to, that's okay to, to, to find a match sure. that one match and that's sure, all I mean, clean a hundred percent yes yeah. yeah sure and i was um she said that's your type oh uh, she all right you know <laughs> you're not really my type i don't mean to be disrespectful yeah, just you know type. but if i see you in public i wouldn't reach out to totally you. fine yes ma'am thank you all right and we did get a pop balloon over here. Damn. You name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. I'm Lex and I'm 23. And I popped my balloon because I feel like you could be a tad bit disrespectful. Like, how you, like, I don't know, arrogant a little bit. Yes. Yeah, just that. Well, voice in my opinion is not arrogant. You know, mm. she asked me if she would be a good fit for me. If I like what I see, you know, uh, it's contrary to the truth. So of course. that's yeah. all I can do is just state what I see. I don't. That's not a good look for me. That's all, Queen. But uh, thank you. You did me a favor as well. Yeah. Also, um, what I have to say is, it's not what you say. This is what I mean by what I said. It's not what you say. It's how you say it. Yes. You could have rephrased a lot of the things that you have been saying to me as well as the other girls differently. But that's all I have to say. Oh. Oh, okay. I'm gonna let him finish. One thing about me is I'm not gonna change who I am of to fit somebody else's liking. Thank you. You know, I'm just gonna tell it how it is. If you're not it, that's not it. You know, cool. the one that Thank is you. it, I'm gonna let it be known. Okay. You know, for sure. Yes. Respectful. All right. So, <clears throat> what he said right there was absolutely truth. That was the truth about it. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to fit your regiment to what you're liking or what you want. And for, again, going back to what I'm saying, if you say something to me and you don't know me from a can of paint and you don't like what I said to you, but you said something to me that may be taken out of turn or something, how can you feel upset about that? That's almost like you're trying to tell me what to do as a man. You know what I'm saying? Now, I ain't the most handsome man in the world, but everybody got to have some type of respect for themselves. And for this man to say what he wanted to say after they did what they did to him, we know what the attention is. Like, we know what this is about, man. Like, if he can't stick up for himself, how is he being a man? You know what I'm saying? Like, he's only being him. And the representation of how the way these ladies, you know what I'm saying? It was... They, they look nice, you know what I'm saying? They really look good. I'm not even going to hold you. But it's just like, come on, man. Like, what are you really there for? Like, if you really hear this man out, and if you're looking for a man to lead, you got to listen. And listening is a, a missing thing in today's generation. But what do I know, man? I'm, I'm just me. But y'all let me know what y'all think about it in the comments about what he said to her. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Brianna, 26. My eyes are, are up here, baby. Are you looking at the tattoo? No, I, I'm, I'm looking at the hair on your arms. Oh, 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 oh shit. Oh. No, she did not set herself up, set herself up for failure. Can, we, can, can I go back to that? Let me go back to that. Can, I, can, can we go back to that? Because that right there was just hilarious. Like, come on. Like, I told you. Why would you start with this man? Look at Shorty in the back. Hey, I'm just being honest. Don't do too much. You know, I, I don't like that. That's all <laughs> I was looking at. I was looking at particular performance. I was looking at my eyes. That's that's all all I was looking, looking at the hair on your arms. Anyways, she asked me the question. Whoa. Um, yeah, I'm not here with you ain't telling us. Okay. Don't do too much. Well, though. you're not qualified. Right? I, that's so that's all good. Damn. Okay. Damn. <laughs> We do still have three unpop, but she looking like. Damn, <laughs> she looks sick. Okay. Oh, wow. All right, if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. My name is Jacqueline. I'm 25. I popped because I have hair on my arms. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just because you got hair on your arms, that's okay, though, Queen. 
You look phenomenal though. Thank you. You know, she ain't fit to my life. There you go. She ain't fit to my Hey, excuse me, Queen. I'm I'm talking to this woman right here. Uh, well I could look anyway. I could look anyway. Wow. I could look any way I want. You know? Come on, man. But yeah, can y'all give her her balloon back though? <laughs> yeah, do you want your balloon back, Queen? Uh, we're not talking to you, sweetheart. Okay. You, you already been. I already let you know. I'm not interested in. The way he's being I respectful, like, where's the disrespect that though? Anyways. Okay, so he's saying get your balloon back, but you don't. Um, I'm not gonna get my balloon back. Okay. <laughs> All right, no problem. So we do. Still what? Have that was a setup. Balloons. Yes. Do we still have two balloons? Oh, let's go. Right now, all right, man. People are just being petty. Ask. So, if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. My name is Kayla. I'm 23. Um, originally, I was not going to pop my balloon because I know a lot of them popped it because he was being, I guess, arrogant. But to me, I like my man that's not going to sit in every girl's face and, you know, complimenting them, you know? So, I didn't find that offensive to me. But when they started that. It's a dating on, show. Very, what are you I'm saying? I'm argumentative. But I don't want my man to argue back with me because then I feel like it's going to always be a problem. That was the only reason why I popped my balloon because I was just like, dang. Uh, but then with me, you kind of got a little bit catty with me. You a little sassy just a little bit. And since you want to come at everybody over here, I'm going to get at you too. You kind of look like a Ninja Turtle. You're not that cute. You you need to relax. You stocky no. as hell. And I was trying to be respectful, but yeah. like you was... Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you going in on him like that though? Like whoop whoop. So this is why they say coochie sticks together. Coochie sticks together, bro. He didn't even have a chance to get to know you and the, the how the way you presenting yourself already just letting him know from there. Two things: how to handle you and how to talk to you. But in my defense, he carrying it as a gentleman because he could be a, he could be an a hole, bro. He could be a whole lot worse. Like we probably seen dudes talk to women like how they would talk to somebody on the, off the street, bro, and still get a pass. But now in this situation, she going in on him, calling him a ninja turtle. I mean, he I mean he looked the part. I mean, don't get me wrong. But at the same time, it was just like, why did you got to go in on him like that? Like that that I mean, I feel like that wasn't really necessary. That wasn't necessary, bro. And he calling you queen. Like, can we, all right, I'm going to be real with you. We got to stop calling females queen, bro. Like, I feel like that's so worn out. I'm not saying it's wrong to say that. Don't get me wrong. There's real queens out there that know their worth. Like, when we love you. But certain people is using that word. Like, they use the word love. And it's used, like, loosely. You know what I'm saying? They don't hold no weight, no substance, no passion, no nothing. So, now you hear. You see this here. Like, I was going to say the dating pool is just pissy, man. It's just pissy, pissy, pissy. You got all these good looking people. And it's just the the minds and what it is, what attracts it, what it is. It's not even really what it is, bro. It's just dress up and makeup. But just back to this here. Like, she's going to end on, bro. For no reason. And you know he got the eyebrow raised up. Like, he ready to go ahead and say something. We about to go back into it. Y'all let me know. From the, the one with the red dress. The pink one, and now to this uh, this blue one right here, the mermaid color. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it, man. You was really coming out like, I didn't, I didn't like it. I'm from the South, and I can handle, like, a lot of criticism and stuff like yeah. that. But the way you was coming, you just act like you got it all like that. He didn't even get to you, you yet, though. Home, and it's just not giving anymore. Yeah. Well, let me say this, Queen. I'm a licensed plumber. So, I live, and I, I do real I estate. I live, down, I live downtown. So I live downtown. I stay by myself, Queen. You know, and you're not even qualified to be in You say everybody not qualified. You definitely not. You know, if anything, it was one of these two. I wasn't even looking your way. You and ain't the one that you wanted, seen, I, That's fine. So that, that is, it's totally fine. Okay. But one thing about me, I could pull a hundred thousand on the bank. Mm. You can do the same. Get this yeah, you can't do that. You can't do that, though, baby. Yeah, let's move on. You can't do that, though, queen. All right. If we can have your name and age. I am Esther. I'm 23. And Esther, uh, you still have your balloon unpopped. Why so? Are you done? Oh, yeah, I'm done with the rest of that. Okay. You know. Okay, now we can talk, right? In a real way. Okay. Uh, what are you looking for? Uh, what are you looking for? Uh, a woman, like I said, that's Are not you done? Be promiscuous. A woman that's going to be consistent. 
a woman that has a career and things going for herself because I have the same thing going for myself, okay. you know, as well. I don't need a woman to uh, give me her money um, or anything. I'm just looking for devotion and some loyalty, that's all, and some honesty. You believe in God? Mm -hmm. Oh, certainly. Yes, ma'am. I'm a God-fearing man. I practice monotheism. You know, I won't tell you what I identify as religion-wise, but we can get to that at a later date and time. You know, yeah. if you choose to uh, leave here with me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you know the Bible says that love is kind? Yeah, certainly. Are you here for love or are you here to just insult? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to create a family, you know, okay. that's what I aspire to do. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Right. You're good? Sure, we're good. Oh, okay. All right. Any questions for her? No, not at all. Do you have any kids? No, I don't. Do you want kids? I do. How old are you again? Son? Huh? How old are you? I'm 29. How old are you? Oh, you're the same age. Is that okay? Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Oh, you know, yeah. we might as well get up out of here right now. Shit. Yeah. Step on yeah. over here. Let's step on stage. They look sick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it seems like there's a little vibe here. So is it going to be a yes for you, man? <laughs> God says save souls, so yeah. Oh, is it a yes for you for her? It's going to be a hell yes for me. Okay, we got a match. It's going to be a hell yes for me. <laughs> All right, let me tell you. All right, so he found him a match. He found somebody that, I mean, I'm not going to lie. She was the baddest one. I'm not going to hold you. She was bad and bougie. Well, she wasn't bougie, but you could tell she talked about God. You know, that's always an interest, a uh, beautiful interest, getting to teach each other some stuff. But, you know... It's a lot of things we can take from this, man. Number one, take the time to get to know a person before you start to pursue them. Number two, just because you like them do not does not mean that that is your lifelong partner. Number three, know how to communicate, what to say, receiving, send a text message, what, what like you know, communication wise. But <clears throat> as far as Broham over here, I seen in, in this joint right here. I mean. He came out gun swinger. He was ready to go. And these females probably didn't think he was going to have a soft response. But, well, it was. But it wasn't what they was probably used to or wanted to hear or didn't think they needed to hear. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them had some valid points. But it's like you got to be able to take in what you dish out as well. Because the joint that had the red and the blue on, the red one was th thinking that he was flatter than looking at her but he was like shoot I was looking at the, at the hair on your arms and I'm like damn man like shh. he done got on Chia Pet then it, once he got on to the, the joint with the blue on and she started coming at him and talking to him and then she said she don't like her man to do this and this and that see that's the problem like you know what you gotta be able to take things for what it is now you gotta be know how to talk to each other you can't talk to each other any type of way but a level of communication of knowing how to say things when you're saying things in certain situations is very, 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 very well needed. So y'all go ahead and let me know what y'all think about the soul thing in the situation now. There was an update that this man that he, this man that the lady that he took home, they did not last long. He had a story about that. You know what I'm saying? Also that he lost his job again. You know what I'm saying? Working at, uh, as a plumber. And he, uh, the, they kept calling up to his job 500 times and stuff like that. And they took in all the stuff from him. Now he has nothing but social media notoriety. And what do you think that he'll do with it? So just keep it. Everything in the comment box. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. Stay updated on all videos and drop in this channel. Let me know what y'all think about this situation. This is my first and probably like the last time I'll probably go watch something like this. I mean, again, it's beautiful women. But we know what the direct attention is. You know what I'm saying? And I just really hope that us as black people get together and really make things happen because, again, we need each other. And there's too many beautiful women out there. But now let me know what y'all think, man. Till next time, it's peace.